It's very important to know what a systolic and diastolic blood pressure means and what the mean blood pressure is. So the systolic blood pressure is created by the ventricular contractile function to exceed the vascular resistance or afterload. So basically the heart is pumping to eject the blood to the rest of the body and to, it, to reach the peripheral part of the body it needs to overcome the vascular resistance which is the afterload. So this pressure that the heart ejects uh, is the systolic blood pressure and uh, this is to push the stroke volume through the cardiovascular system. The diastolic blood pressure is uh, to maintain the circulation when the heart is not pumping. So it's caused by the contractile property of the arterioles uh, which also is one of the important factors for the systemic vascular resistance. We need to maintain a higher pressure gradient at the arterial side, the proximal more than the distal. And uh, this is related to the resistance and the intravascular volume. So if you are hypovolemic, it's very difficult to maintain your diastolic uh, volume. In a shunting lesion like the PDA, for example, the resistance drops and so you may have a wide pulse pressure because the diastolic runoff happens. The mean blood pressure is one of the commonly used measures to check the blood pressure range for treatment. It's nothing but one third of the systolic with two third of the diastolic pressure. So anything that impacts the systolic pressure affects the mean BP, but anything that impacts the diastolic blood pressure has a bigger impact on the mean blood pressure.